This video is sponsored by Boxu. Welcome back to Upcycling, where we take leftover food and we turn it into new food through smart cooking. Today, we'll be turning beautiful rotisserie chicken into not one, but three whole new dishes. The first is a creamy chicken pate, which can be a savory spread or a high protein dip if you like. Then we're gonna borrow from Sichuanese cuisine and make a very special version of bang bang chicken. And finally, we're making a grilled chicken salad sandwich, which honestly should not taste as good as it does because it takes mere minutes to make. But it all starts with one thing and that one thing is of course Le Chicon. No matter where you are in the world, I'm gonna bet there's a grilled chicken or rotisserie chicken place somewhere near you. If you live in Berlin, you can probably guess where my favorite place is. Their charcoal grilled chicken simply hits the spot and whenever I go, I make sure to get an extra chicken to take home because it can be used to cook so many delicious things. But first things first, eat a chicken wing as a little treat for the chef and then let's get to work separating our chicken meat because it's not all created equal. The chicken the breast has very little fat, the chicken skin has a lot and the thighs are somewhere in between. The more fat, the juicier and the more forgiving the meat will be when you work with it. So let's jump straight into our first recipe which is chicken pate. The preparation is actually stupid simple, so let me show you. We begin by sweating any type of onion and a few cloves of garlic and some oil until they just begin to caramelize. We can also add some chopped chicken skin for extra flavor. And then once you see a nice and toasty font build up on the bottom of the pan, the time has come to deglaze. I use apple cider, but you could use cognac, champagne, hell, even Sprite or Fanta would do the trick. What we want is sweetness and a little bit of a fruity or complex note. You can probably get all chefy with extra flavors here, but the only thing I'm gonna recommend you add is cinnamon. Sounds crazy, but it works. Then we season with a generous 30 cracks of black pepper and of course some salt before adding a little balsamic vinegar and yes, the chicken. I'm mostly going for chicken breast, which if you remember me mentioning is very lean, so to make sure our pate hits the smoothness it needs, we're gonna enrich it with heavy cream. This mixture actually already smells pretty great and could easily be a great pasta sauce. But since we're making a pate, we need to process it first. About a minute and the food processor will do, and look at that, it looks Terrible, <laughs> but that's just the nature of the dish, I guess. We can try to garnish it a bit and pretend that helps, but in the end, all you really gotta do is put it on a piece of bread and enjoy. The apple cider really works wonders here and perfectly balances the rich grilled chicken flavor without overpowering it. I'm gonna recommend this, guys. But what if you don't feel like eating slightly bougie French food and are more in the mood for, let's say, Chinese? Well, I got just the right dish for you. Let's begin by making a delicious dressing, the base of which will be sesame paste or tahini. Add soy sauce for a salty umami kick, dark Chinese vinegar for some zing, toasted sesame oil for nuttiness, ground Sichuan pepper, toasted white and black sesame seeds, and some chili crisp, which I'm actually gonna strain because I don't need the solids this time around. For a bit of fresh bite, we add minced garlic and ginger, and it's time to mix. I mean, look at this color, guys. How cool is this? That. This is actually called Guai Wei sauce in Sichuan and it's pure crack. Or at least it should be, it actually wasn't because I forgot to add sugar. Very, very important to bring all the flavors together and now that's what I'm talking about. In fact, it tastes so good I could almost drink it straight up, but hold on, we must not forget the chicken. First, grate some fresh cucumber and put down a bed of that on a plate. Top that with about two handfuls of chicken, in this case I'm gonna be using the juicy thigh meat, and then we smother everything in our Guai Wei sauce. And when I say smother, I mean smother. It should practically be drowning in sauce, at least that's how I like it. Finally, garnish with crushed peanuts, fresh cilantro, thinly sliced scallions, and a few completely superfluous lime wedges for the gram. This, you guys, is simply sorcery. I made this to showcase chicken, but what I'm really showcasing here is this absolutely ridiculous sauce that has no business being this delicious. But speaking of delicious things, we still have a whole chicken salad sandwich to go, and that one's a keeper as well. I'm gonna tell you all about it after a quick word from this video's sponsor, 
Boksu. Boksu is a monthly subscription service that delivers premium Japanese snacks and tea pairings straight from Japan to your door. Each Boksu features a new theme providing a gourmet journey through Japan every single month. And I'm dying to find out what they sent this time. Oh yes, Manatsu fruits. Look at all these delicious snacks. Normally I'd be sharing these with friends or the team, but this time more for me. So let's see what we got and try something. I think I'm gonna go for, for this one. I can read some Japanese, so I have an idea of what's in here, but you know what? Even if you don't, Boxo always sends you this beautifully designed booklet and it has all the information you need on who made the snack, what the story is and what's inside. So in case you're allergic, don't worry. This snack is okaki crackers with lemon and salt. So this is how the little cracker looks. Oh yeah. There is no denying it. The Japanese are the masters of snacks. And you as well can get all of this goodness delivered to you. If you wanna have your own Japanese snack celebration at home, simply click the link in the video description and use my code ANDONG15 to get 15 bucks off your first Boksu order. Thank you Boksu for sponsoring this video. And now let's go make that chicken salad sandwich. So to kick this grand finale off, we want to start with a base of lettuce. Somehow it is the most basic of all salad ingredients after all. Next up we got some celery which we're simply gonna grate and a few carrots which are gonna get the same treatment. And now for the dressing. We're gonna start with mayo but we're not gonna go full mayo, I am not that guy. For something like a salad I really like stretching a little mayo with a lot of full fat Greek yogurt. Still super rich, but not as gloopy and sinful as mayo itself. But you know, where there is richness, you're usually well advised to add some acidity for balance. And this is certainly no exception. A healthy squeeze of fresh lemon juice is a much needed addition here. And now as always, season everything with salt and pepper and it's chicken time. This salad is where I think the chicken skin really shines. Chop it up finely so you don't get large stringy bits in your salad and then go for some meat. I actually think both Breast and thigh meat works almost equally well here, so it's really up to you. One good mix and then all we need is a toasted brioche burger bun, a few spoonfuls of our salad and a slice of freshly melted, beautifully processed cheese. And you know what? It's probably my love for all things sandwich, but this is just too good to pass up on. I can imagine feeding a whole gang of friends on a picnic with these and I don't think anyone would complain. And now the only question left is what should we upcycle next? Make sure to leave your suggestion in the comments below and I'm gonna see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.